Genocidal psychopaths celebrate International Day to combat Islamophobia. Well, it's International Day to combat Islamophobia, which of course means Democrats are busy making the most hypocritical and morally dissonant public statements you can possibly imagine. We recognize the violence and hate that Muslims worldwide too often face because of their religious beliefs, and the ugly resurgence of Islamophobia in the wake of the devastating war in Gaza, reads a statement from President Biden, referring to a U.S.-backed genocide against a Muslim population that he is personally responsible for. Today, as millions continue to observe the holy month of Ramadan, Jill and I extend our best wishes to Muslims everywhere and continue to keep them in our prayers, and we affirm our commitment to do all we can to put an end to the vicious hate of Islamophobia here at home and around the world, concludes the statement from the president now known internationally as Genocide Joe. On this International Day to Combat Islamophobia, we reaffirm our commitment to upholding the freedom of religion or belief of all and to speak out against acts of anti-Muslim hatred whenever and wherever they occur, adds Secretary of State Antony Blinken. Islamophobia has no place in our nation or around the world. POTUS and I join the world in condemning Islamophobia and affirming the equal rights and dignity of all people, tweets Vice President Kamala Harris. This is so creepy. It's one of those things where the more you look at it, the creepier it becomes. They're condemning Islamophobia and denouncing hate crimes against Muslims at the exact same time as they are helping Israel create a mountain of Palestinian corpses in a genocidal onslaught whose entire premise is that Palestinians are the wrong race and the wrong religion. They are proclaiming their love for the Muslim while plunging a knife into his throat. But that's exactly who Democrats are. Their actions don't matter, only their feelings matter. It didn't matter that Obama expanded all of Bush's most depraved wars and butchered Muslim populations using bombs and proxy militias throughout his entire administration. All that mattered was that he spoke eloquently and expressed compassion while the cameras were on. It doesn't matter that Biden is directly backing a genocidal campaign, which has probably killed far more people than the official death counts acknowledge. It matters that he condemns Islamophobia and that White House sources keep feeding the press stories about how privately frustrated he is with Benjamin Netanyahu. The whole thing's just a vehicle through which the more progressively-minded half of the American public can support the murderous agendas of the U.S. empire while still feeling nice about themselves. Republicans are the openly fascistic thugs of the U.S. empire, while Democrats are the psychopathic PR managers running around photoshopping smiley faces on the fascism. Republicans are the dopey goon squad, while Democrats are the criminal mastermind. Republicans are the blunt instrument, while Democrats are the poison syringe. Republicans kill Muslims while saying they hate Muslims, while Democrats kill Muslims while saying they love them. Democrats are the grinning plastic mask that sits on top of the snarling, blood-spattered face of the U.S. empire. They purport to stand in solidarity with workers, with marginalized groups, with women and with the poor, and they claim to oppose racism, injustice, and tyranny. But when it comes right down to it, their real purpose is to put a nice face on the most murderous and tyrannical regime on this planet.